Do you love dresses and do you know which dress looks best on your body shape? I'm Sheila, I'm a personal stylist and I help women find the best style that suit their body shape, their coloring and their personality so they can dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. Today I'm talking about dresses. The best dress for you and your body shape. Some of the reasons you might like wearing a dress is because it's easy to get dressed. That one dress makes it easier just to pop on and you're ready. Another reason why you'd want to wear a dress is because it's cooler in summer. You can wear different types of materials that are cool. You can wear them different lengths if you want to cover your ankles or your legs and stay cool. And you can also wear a dress if you are the romantic style archetype. So if that's your style type, you will want to wear a dress more often. If you're a natural Nelly, you won't want to wear a dress. You'll be more inclined to wear pants or shorts or jeans. You won't want to wear a dress. So there are some of the reasons you are wearing a dress. You have a different reason for wearing a dress. Put it down in the comment box. I'd love to hear what it is. One of the best things about style, in my opinion, is the fact that we are all unique. And because we're unique, we can be different and we can also be our best looking self. And how we do that is by choosing styles that suit our bodies and our coloring. So when it comes to a dress, you'll want to create a style. The best style for you would be a dress that suits your body shape and your lines. So that would be your horizontal lines and your vertical lines. So the horizontal lines in your body are your body shape. The rectangle body shape, the hourglass body shape, the triangle body shape, the inverted triangle body shape, and the oval body shape. So those are your horizontal lines. And when it comes to the vertical lines in our body, our vertical lines, our height is all distributed differently. So some of us have long necks, some of us have long waists, some have short necks, some have short waists, long legs, short legs, and you wouldn't necessarily have all of those long and all of those short. You can have a short neck and a long leg. So the thing is, vertical lines are all different. So when you take your vertical lines and your horizontal lines and know exactly what they are, then you can choose a dress that suits you best. So let's talk about dresses. There are different types of dresses. There is the flare dress, the sheet dress, the wrap dress, shirt dress, the sweater dress, and then dresses also come in different lengths. So you can have a mini dress, a midi dress, or a maxi dress. All of those different lengths and different shapes of dresses will look different on each body shape. So let's get started first by your body shape. To define your body shape, I have a guide that you can download that will tell you which body shape you will fit into generally. When it comes to finding your vertical lines, I have a computerized program that I use to help my clients find those lines. So if this is something that you'd like to do, just send me an email and I'll put that information down below. So when you get your vertical measurements, your horizontal measurements, and match them with your dress, everything is great and you'll look great. So first let's talk about the hourglass body shape. This body shape has a hip measurement and a shoulder measurement that is the same or very close. And then the waist is about 10 inches smaller than the hip and the waist. So that creates that hourglass body shape. So if you are this body shape, you will want to accentuate your curves. Oh, and by the way, you could be five foot two or you could be five foot 11. It doesn't matter. Your shape is your shape. If you have this body shape, you'll want to accentuate your curves and you will want to stay away from anything that is boxy and that's going to hide your curves. You can accentuate your curves with a dress that drapes around your waistline, that comes in at the waistline, or that has a belt, and also a dress that's in a very soft material so it glides over your body and doesn't just hang or create that or have that crispy look where it just doesn't fit around your body. So you want something that fits, 
that looks good on your body that drapes well. If you're a rectangle body shape, your shoulders and your hips are close to the same width, but your waist is not as defined. So you don't have a defined waist. Every rectangle is not the same as in any other of the shapes. They're not all exactly the same. So some rectangles might have a large bust. Some might have a small bust. Some might have more of a curve and some might have less of a curve. So some might have no curve at all hardly any curve at all, and some will have a curve that's making them close to an hourglass, but not really. So every shape is a little bit different, even in, if you're within that shape. So for an, a rectangle body shape, you will want to create curves. And the way to create curves with a dress is to choose a dress that has the curve already built in it, and also a dress that has details around the bust line and or around the hip line to offset the waist and define the waist more. So there, these are some examples of dresses that will accentuate your waist if you are a rectangle and will create more of a curve. Also a belt, if you wear a belt on a dress, a sheet dress, if you're a rectangle, that will create a curve. If you're a rectangle and you wear a sheet dress on its own, especially if you're tall and you're slender and you wear a sheet dress, which is elongating, you will lose more shape. If you're shorter and you wear a sheet dress, you'll still look elongated, but not as elongated because you're not as tall. A belt will help create that curve. Also, a sheet dress that has darts in the front will create more of a curve and create a waistline. If you have a rectangle shape, you will want to avoid anything that is boxy, that has big pockets on it, that is taking the eye away from the waistline. So you want to focus the eye on the waistline on a curve. The next body shape is the oval body shape. Again, all ovals are different. So oval is pretty much just the shape of your body. You might be taller, you might be shorter, you might be bigger, you might be smaller, but you're still an oval. So the challenge for an oval is to create an hourglass. So to create more of a waistline. And to do that, she can use an empire waist dress. So if she doesn't have any waistline at all, she'll want to have a dress that flows over the waistline. She could also use a wrap dress that creates the illusion of a waistline. If you have an oval body shape, you wanna stay away from anything that is boxy, that is stiff, that doesn't give your body any kind of curvature. You'll wanna use soft fabric so it flows over your body, doesn't cling, but creates that waistline. There are certain dresses that are great for the oval body shape, no matter what your weight or matter, no matter what your height. And that would be the wrap dress and the empire waist dress. Also for the oval body shape, a dress that is longer creates that elongated look. So if you wear a dress that is to the floor, you're going to create a longer look than if you wear a dress that is above the knee. The triangle body shape has narrow shoulders, a defined waistline, and rounded hips. So she's larger on the bottom than the top. And if you've ever bought pieces of clothing, like a suit, where there's a top and pants, and the top fits and the pants don't, or the pants fit and the top don't, that's an indication that you might be a triangle. Again, triangles are all different, but the that, that basic triangle shape these are some of the styles that will work, some of the dress styles that will work for you. So you'll be wanting to look for a style that has more interest on top. So a dress that has pockets, a dress that is smaller on the bottom, so is darker on the bottom. So a two-tone dress will be good for a triangle body shape, something that's darker on bottom, lighter on the top. Also a dress that has ruffles at the neckline comes in at the waist and then flares. That creates that balance for the triangle body shape. If your body shape is inverted, you have larger shoulders and smaller hips and a waistline that isn't defined and usually a flat derriere. Again, every 
person doesn't fit exactly into this but if you come close and you sound it sounds like you're the shape these are some of the styles that will work for you we're trying to create symmetry so so to create that for the inverted triangle body shape you'll want to make the upper half look smaller and the way to do that would be with v-necks deep v-necks and to stay away from any kind of clutter on top and the cl by clutter i mean ruffles uh, anything that is bringing attention to your upper half so a shirt dress wouldn't be a good choice for an inverted triangle because shirt dress sometimes have epaulets across the shoulders it makes the shoulders look wider there's pockets at the, sh at the bust line which creates interest creates a wider look so that would be one dress you want to avoid the dress that you want to wear would be one that has a flare bottom and one that has vertical lines on top if you love style and you want to learn more about style you can join me on my network women in style and i'll put the link for that down below and what we do is every month i have a style challenge i also have a theme of the month so this month's theme is shopping i have videos and style tips and worksheets all things to help you learn more about style so if this interests you look down below for the link and i will see you there thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and keep on styling